Palutena, so we're going to see how this is going to play out. And we're going Morton. Oh, Start he's committing to it. Big Morton. Here we go, Full baby. Commitment. Let's get it. All right, flex in the chat. Arguably a bottom five character versus a top five character, so we're going to see how this one goes. Yoda Cage repping good old Drexel College, baby. Drexel University. Get your education. Get your education. All board, though. A gentleman's 30. The, the starter kit for uh, It's It's going to be a tough fight for, for Yoda to be able to navigate throughout this onslaught of aerials that Ny Nyro's already been deploying. And, and literally everything in Palu's kit is a low tier invalidator. Well, here's the problem with that is all moves, they have their end lag. If Yoda's aware of each and every move that Nyro's going to throw out, depending on how well he's able to space around it or even just call out the options, there's going to be a lot of times where Bowser Jr. can rack up a lot of damage. Yeah, that's being said. Ju Junior's still kind of nice. A lot of the Junior players are like, why do people keep sleeping on our character? Like, the amount of damage output that Junior can do and, and early kill potential is absolutely nutty. And a lot, a lot of Bowser Juniors are very, very disciplined in their gameplay. As we can see right now, Yoda keeping it fairly even with Nairo right now. Like, not even just with Nairo, but like, Palutena as a character, you already brought up kind of like a low tier gatekeeper. Almost pest control for this game, but keyword, almost. Ooh, wow, that fade back right there. Did he air dodge after that? You can't directional air dodge with uh, He Bowser. neutral air dodge though, probably. Which he actually could. I think escaped him from getting hit by the Dunto. And he's keeping even, almost getting a kill right there to start off with. He's just been controlling the airspace so much that Nairo really hasn't been able to land effectively and skirt! Pull up in the Tokyo Drift right there, bro. All right, I hear murmurs from the crowd. I know that, that's, that's how you know it's starting, bro. <laughs> well, Philadelphia is in good attendance, and... <laughs> Why are you mad? Yeah, and I was like, no, he was like, all right, you, you got me. You got me. That was funny. That Bowser Jr. is full of, like, little commitments here and there. It's not like some characters where, like, they got to really watch when they call for a jump. Bowser Jr., every button, you can hold your breath in anticipation of whether or not you pass or fail the, uh, the vibe check. That being said, though, like, Yoda's just been making sure to keep a fair amount of space between him and Nairo, so that way he's able to keep Nairo guessing at this mid-range, whether he needs to wall him out with retreating Nair, which is super duper good, or just, just approach forward with a fair. I'm actually really glad you brought that up because it's a really specific space that Yoda is keeping in line. He's staying right in the midst Ooh, of... Uh, God. Oof. He's, st he's staying outside of uh, Explosive Flame and Auto Reticle range, but still giving himself enough space that he doesn't have to get threatened too heavily by Palutena's normals. Although, he's, thankfully he's, for Nairo, able to tie things back up and keep himself an edge. These well, recovery mix-ups, too, from Yoda have been, like, immaculate. Like, he hasn't been getting hit by Nairo's down tilt way too much, and he's always been able to find his way out of these pesky situations. That being said, though, Nairo can now press his advantage a fair amount more. Yeah, down here. Not going to hit. Oh, look at the situation. The only case really can't afford to mess up any of his recoveries no. because Palutena already gets so much control at the ledge from damage to stocks, what have you. But, like, you only can't give that up for free. And Nairo's the one who's keeping him guessing a little bit at this mid-range now. Oh, okay, making it back. That might kill for that point. Yeah. That is such a dead That's a power kill power. move? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Not in 5.0, I believe in 4.0, we saw an update to Bowser Jr. That These had mix-ups. Sta it standardized a bit of his kit, but most importantly Back made here. jabs confirm easier to guarantee that his jab will end up being killed. But it's not a saving grace for Bowser Jr. Game one going in favor of Nairo. Yoda keeps keeping it pretty close, though. Yeah, no, I, he's been mixing up like every single time, just keeping Nairo on his toes with, with a lot of stuff. Nairo, though, you know, doing what he needs to do to finish that match. It's it's nothing flashy, but it, it it's working. He's just keeping very grounded, staying where he needs to stay, checking him with um, uh, auto reticle when he needs to. He, he's, he's really been doing a good job of that. Simple but effective. Now this is this is this is an interesting shift here. This no, we saw it pretty even. This is the part where either certain players fall apart completely or switch up their game plan appropriately. But has Yoda exhausted every single trick in his bag? We'll see. 
There's a lot of little things that Bowser Jr. can do to change up his uh, game plan. He's such a cool character. But as far as like the big, like the big picture goes for Bowser Jr., one thing that I want to see Yoda Cage avoid a little bit more is the Mecha Koopa play. We saw Mecha Koopa get invalidated a lot by Nairo, either using it to his own benefit, being able to extend shield pressure onto uh, Yoda Cage, or Yoda Cage just wasn't able to catch up to the little bits of damage and knockback that it cast out. And it's, yeah, he's pretty much dead here. He's got his air dodge. What can he do? <laughs> what can he do to nah, survive? <laughs> just textbook by Nairo. I love how he kept using the fair to poke him out and not like relying on just a, a nair to get him out of the situation. He, he set himself up for that bear by just continually racking up the damage every single time. And now this is tough. Bowser Jr. not really a character who's known to kill super duper crazy early unless he gets some sort of crazy like offstage side B or something like that. It's going to be tough. He, he needs to, to narrow the playing field. On top of that, keep in mind dash attack and back air from Palutena. Two commonly used moves that in their own right like spell curtains for Bowser Jr. All right, buddy. Even Yoda's smiling oh, after no. that. He knows he just got away with murder with that uh, the double spot dodge. That's Ooh. the most respect that uh, Nairo's ever shown a Bowser Jr. I think in my life. What? Yeah, that, that moved so slowly. Yeah. That's why it's not a good move. Yeah. I mean, it worked. It got Nairo off of him. Yeah, just because it's not good doesn't mean it doesn't work. Jeez Louise, Nairo not letting up towards the legend. Oh, and these nice bears. Yoda trying to shake it off right now. Is it, is it all for naught? <laughs> you see what I mean with Mecha Koopa? It's just a waste of time for Yoda Cage. Nairo has such a good idea of how to utilize it. He, he was utilizing it very well as like an assister with damage when he would get a grab or something like that. But it, having an extra projectile in play, Nairo is going to be the guy to do some crazy stuff with those projectiles. Or those items, rather. Nairo, the they're really worth it. Yeah, yeah. it's the effort. thing. You, you, he's, he's pressing the gas forward and not giving himself enough room to really make this comeback. Because, yeah, you get a little bit of damage, but Nairo's still able to just pick himself off the ground real quick, and then he can hit you with something even harder. Oh, my God. Yeah, jab three actually reaches hella far, so... You have to make sure you're gone, gone if you're trying to contest. Can, can, who, who builds the gadgets for uh, the Bowser? Wow, that's smart. Yeah, Nairo doing oh. the Nairo Classic. He, pioneer of just catching those low prowls. Yoda Cage, not happy. Wait, what? Best of five. Oh, best part. of five territory. Okay, I guess we're in top 16. 32. Okay, so top 32 is best of five. I was wondering why there was no fist bump afterwards. I was like, they did not know. I was over here. Uh, they chilling, man. Yeah. Smashville, I, you need a bit of a change of setting here. Okay. I don't know if we're going to see a character swap. Uh, I feel yeah. like DK is a poly is just such a grim option. He's going to get mixed, bro, yeah. if he does that. Oh, they look, I, see the, I see you guy in the crowd. I see your Morton, bro. Represent. I don't know how you have a Morton plushie for this specific situation, but Godspeed to you, my friend. Watch him have like a backpack of just every Koopa Cage. <laughs> I come prepared. <laughs> Do I keep that thing on me? He's a kid who comes to class with like three pens, six pencils, two calculators, and he's got an extra notebook for his homie in case he's forgetting one. <laughs> Look at how much damage that does. And that's the first time Mecha Koopas actually came in clutch. All right, so the special pick I think is really smart from the other cage because it's neutralizing a lot of space that otherwise Nairo would just be able to control easily. We saw that constantly Yoda Cage was losing out on the efforts to fight back stage control on PS2. And even though he was able to navigate the space well, it didn't really mean anything because he was just moving into Nairo's turf. Oh, and there we go from out deep. Did you just hit him with the ugly? He hit him with the, like, the far, far away. The far, <laughs> he hit him with the trick too. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. that is so powerful. Jesus. If you don't know, now you know. This character's good, honestly. Well, I don't, let's, I, let's slow down. Let's slow no, down. No, he is. Character is, I like to say, functional. He's definitely. Fu oh, yeah. Yoda keeps shaking that up. But even Stevens, though, can't lose heart just yet. Oh, here we go. He hasn't. Naru, I have to note that he hasn't really been getting too many nares. I don't know if Bowser's like. Bowser Jr.'s weird in that way where you can't really hit him. Or Yoda Cage has been guessing. He just gets exploded by the time. <laughs> it's looking curtains for my man's. He's such a grim stop. 
It's Nairo, man. The, the thing about Nairo is that he's one of the scariest players in advantage to fight because he makes Palutena look so fast. And he, he, his decision-making trees are always godlike. He, on the fly, his decision-making has been like 10 for 10 this set. Just oh, always oh right but he couldn't capitalize oh! on the situation. Here's what I would say if he would not get the second hit. Jesus! Abandoned Ship is such a good special. He but did. Is what I would say. Yeah, no, no. Don't get him out just yet. What oh, are uh, you on? Oh, he's, oh, wait, no. Fading over the ledge just to get out of there. He's still in it. Oh, no, he's not. That's it. That'll do it. Indeed, a 3 0, but Yoda Cage put himself there. Yoda doing a fantastic job, though. That's a, taking Nairo down to like last stock every single game. Like, he. Not many it. players in general have the privilege of saying that. Tri-State is nice, bro. Yoda I'm saying, saying that. It. He did it all Bowser Jr. Tri-State is nice. That is a top 10 player right there. And he was able to do that to him with a, a, a low tier. Possibly a mid tier. Uh, all the Bowser Jr. mains from SoCal are screaming right now. I'm sorry, Ketchup. I'm sorry, Taternator.